You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to another Retro Recollections. You may remember I covered my little Android media box, the WeTech Hub, in a previous video, where I showed you how to unlock the potential of this little box by installing Laka, the standalone RetroArch operating system, to play all your favourite retro games via emulation. Laka uses the LibreLec backend as a base, but since LibreLec stops support for AmLogic based systems such as the WeTech Hub, which uses an S905 quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 based system on the chip, I found that there were a few stability issues. Looking for a solution, I stumbled upon Corelec, a fork of the LibreLec project that has continued support for AmLogic devices. I was glad to find support for the WeTech Hub and even better, I discovered the MUELEC project for playing retro games. MUELEC is based on Corelec and so fully supports almost all AmLogic based devices either by completely replacing the Android operating system on the box or by booting from a secondary device like an SD card. It also borrows from Laka, Batucera, another Linux based retro gaming front end and the system uses the visually appealing emulation station front end but also includes RetroArch in the back end. It has the ability to install some standalone emulators too if you have a beefier box and want to emulate more hardware intensive systems such as the Dreamcast. Basically this system provides the best of both worlds. It has a more attractive front end as well as still using RetroArch and using a back end system that is completely compatible with the AmLogic chipsets. Obviously your mileage will vary depending on which box you have. My S905 chipset and one gig of RAM is getting a little bit long in the tooth and so limits me to 8-bit and 16-bit systems mostly. But it still does this very well and is a very useful device. Let's take a little tour. So here we have the um, initial screen you get when you uh, load up the software and as you can see it's very very attractive. I've got a few systems on here at the moment so what I'll do is have a look we'll have a look at some of the some of the settings. The control settings are very easy to uh, to set up. You just basically you go in and you should recognize your pad. I'm using a, a 360 pad and then you can you can set the controller um, buttons you can customize them as, as ever you want. You can use Bluetooth if you've got a Bluetooth enabled box which most most of these are. Very very straightforward. You can get different uh, themes and you can also use uh, bezels for from RetroArch in the games so if it recognizes the game and it's fully indexed properly then you will get all of that as well. Really really nice. You can network obviously uh, and you can use Samba or FTP or you know, SSH to uh, connect to the box and add software to there, add more ROMs and you can even use Wi-Fi if you've got it and it's fairly easy to set up. I'm using uh, Ethernet on mine. You can scrape right from the two different places, the games database and, and screen scraper to get all your all your information and I'll show you that in a minute, it looks really really nice. You can update themes and bezels from here, you can change the language, the sound modes, all, all sorts of stuff on here. So as you can see this is the information for my my box which is the WeTech Hub. Um, I've got an extra card in here so the actual box only gives you about 4 gigs of usable space on this particular box. Version 3.4 is the latest version of MUELEC. It's running on a Linux base. That's an AmLogic S905H Revision C with 4 CPU cores. Right, let's have a look at some of the menus. So, once you've done your scraping, it looks fantastic. You can change the, the look as well, but you know, depending on, on which ones they, that you use. They're just beautiful, you know. I know em emulation station isn't new, but um, and you can 
some of them you might want to change. Turbo graphics, I, I struggle getting the screens for those, so I've changed those to covers. Sometimes you get the odd one where they don't give you the right cover. But you still can tell what the game is, that's the main thing. But yeah, like there for example, it's given me a Game Boy Advance cover, but it doesn't really matter too much. Arcade, look at a, I know I've got loads of versions of the same game on here, but it um it really 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 useful to to get more information. You can see what the arcades uh, actually are instead of a big list with cryptic looking uh, names. Again, Sega Master System. Got to take some of these ROMs away because I've got duplicates, but. PC Engine. And on the Super Famicom, Super Nintendo. Right, let's have a bit of a play of the games.
think you'll agree, MU-ELEC really breathes life into an older Amlogic based box you may have bought a few years ago and now resides in a drawer, as you may have upgraded your media box since. I will include all the links you need in the description to get your Amlogic based media box repurposed to a fully dedicated multi-system retro games emulator. Thanks so much for watching, please like, share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Every little bit of feedback is very much appreciated. And so until next time, bye bye.